Hey everyone, it's Michelle here from 3Ps and today I wanted to share with you some Valentine cards that I've put together and that they're pretty easy. Um, I just used some basic white cardstock. Um, I got it at Michael's. There, it was just a solid white pack and I got it when it was on sale so it was $2.50 for the pack. And for this card, what I used to make the giant heart was a cookie cutter. I just traced out the heart on some sticky back paper, uh, the kind that I show in a lot of my videos that I like to use. And I just simply traced it and cut it out. And I glittered up one side of the sticky paper. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find a scrap of the paper. I don't know where I laid it. But they have it at Michael's. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. Well, no, they used to be able to get it at Hobby Lobby. My Hobby Lobby doesn't carry the sticky paper that I used to use. But I know they have it at Michael's and they have it on Amazon. It's just a big sheet of sticky paper. And it's kind of like the paper, I guess, you use in a Xyron machine, which you could probably do that in there as well. And I just glittered up the front of it. The one sticky side I glittered up and then I peeled the backing and stuck it down to create the giant heart sticker like this. And this way I can create as many as I want. And so you're not buying, the thing I like about it is that if I just want to make these two cards, I'm not buying like a big pack of stickers that are going to just be cluttering up everywhere. So I could just cut out what the shape I want and glitter it in the color that, that I'm looking for. And in this case, red. And then up here at the top is just some fabric tape. It's sticky on one side. So it just peels like this. And I just stuck it down here. I don't remember where I got this tape. I've had it for quite a while. Um, actually for a couple years. I'm almost out of it. I wish I could find some more because I love making them. I think it's, I think it's nice. And right here on the sides was just scrap paper. I just took a piece of red scrap paper, tore it in half to create the jagged edge, and I just taped it down using some score tape, just a, some score tape behind it. And then I put down some little heart sequins, some cutout hearts and the solid hearts here. Um, I got these at a local dollar store where I live. The brand that it's made by is, I think it was Unique. And you might have a local party place or a party supply place. Maybe even Party City has some um, confetti, heart confetti, which would probably be kind of the same deal like this. And I just use it as shapes because it's in a sequin like material and I just use it as an embellishment. Um, you could also probably check maybe Michael's or Hobby Lobby, see if they've got something similar and then there's some more hearts that I, I put on there um yeah check out party city maybe they've got some valentine confetti that you can use and then on the inside all I did was just stamped a happy valentine's day my lamp is creating a shadow on the card but you can see it says happy valentine's day and it was just a little simple stamp I got this years ago in a holiday pack I got from Joann's um, I don't shop at Joann's very much. It's, I have one here, but it's not, it's not that close. So I don't go to it very often. Like Michael's and Hobby Lobby are less than three, three miles from my house. So, and they're right across the street from each other. And Joann's is, I don't know, not as close. <laughs> so, all right. Um, man, my lamp is creating a terrible shadow. I hope that's okay for everyone. And then on this card here, is about as basic as I think you can get. It is all it is is strips of paper. It well, this is a washi tape, which I have very, very little bit of. So it's just a washi tape along the side here. And then there's strips of paper, various strips that I had as scraps, and I just trimmed them down. Some of them I did like, you know, a half an inch wide, an inch wide, um, a quarter inch wide <laughs> I mean they're all different widths and sizes and shapes there's a bigger piece here and I just had a bunch of scraps and I just grabbed what I thought would look nice on the front of the card along with some wooden buttons I got these from Tuesday morning 
Um, good, good bit ago. A lot of this, uh, I'm just trying to use up what I have. I've been on this kick since last year. It's been over a year now where I'm really just trying to use up what I have. So I apologize if I'm using things that, um, aren't necessarily current, I suppose, but you can get things that are similar. You know, I've seen little wooden pieces at Hobby Lobby. Um, sometimes I still see them at Tuesday morning. These were American Crafts. The, all these wooden pieces were an American Crafts, a variety pack of different um, little wooden pieces. And I've used up almost all the hearts. And then some just regular buttons. I have some button jars that I have with different colors. I use the pink and the blue. Um, you could use, I've seen um, buttons at Dollar Tree with the little uh, plastic buttons that they have with flowers and hearts and different shapes. And then I just grabbed a couple of different glitters. I've got these three that I grabbed to glitter the front of the card. And I mean, it's quite a few little materials, I guess, but it's all readily available stuff. It's not any special dies or cutouts or stamps or anything like that just to do the front. And the glittered strips, it is red line tape. Red line tape, you can get at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's less than, if you use a coupon, it's less than $2. Or you can get it, um, I've seen it sometimes at Tuesday morning. My Tuesday morning has it sometimes, and then sometimes it doesn't. So, But I know they have it at um, Hobby Lobby, which is where I usually get it from. Because I use a coupon once a week to grab a roll. Alright, and then on the inside, I use one of my new stamps I got from Michael's. Like this here. It says, Love You a Latte. And I plan on these, this card and the one that I haven't finished yet, this little blank card here. I'm actually going to send these to my cousins. And I'm just going to grab them a couple of Starbucks card gift cards and I'll stick them in these cards right here and mail out to them. And then I just colored up the little stamp. I colored up the cup with the diff two different shades of pink and then gave it some blue eyes. And then I just coordinated the colors on the front to kind of go with the colors that I did on the little stamp. And then I'll stick their gift cards inside and I'll mail this out to them for Valentine's Day. All right, and then these two cards, I don't know if I can show, yeah, I showed you the inside where it says Happy Valentine's Day. I'm just gonna send this to my mom and my sister. I think they'll like that. But I thought I could show you how I put this one together uh, today. And it was really, really easy. <laughs> now you could, you scrap some fabric to stick this down with. You could take the lines and you could do it this direction. You know, you could go across. You don't have to go up and, you know, up and down. You could just stagger them any way you want. You don't even have to fill up the whole card. You could just do a few different lines, something like this. And just put you like maybe a sticker embellishment or make a giant heart or something. And you can just keep layering it up until you like how it looks. So I'm kind of digging the ones going across as well. Might do it across the card. Make it different than the other one. That's an idea. I think I will do that. So I did this card with it going the long way. So I think I'll try it the short way. Go across the other way. Kind of the same concept, but just a slightly different look. Okay. So I just laid down some score tape and I'm going to peel that up. I like to put it behind my washi tapes because sometimes these washi tapes don't want to stay. And then I'm just going to line this up on the card towards the top like that. And I'm not going to go all the way across. I'm probably going to stagger it a little bit. All right. There's that one. Now, let's see. What color did I use? Oh, blue. Let's do blue. That was the next color I used. So I'll lay this here. Like that. And I'll just put the score tape on the back of the paper. Like this. And I'll keep filling up the card with these different strips until I have it, you know, as full as I want it and the colors that I want it. And then I'll put the glitter strips on top of all of this paper. So I'll fill this front up right here until I'm happy with it. So I'm happy with how, you know, it looks. 
think I'll do, I'm trying to do them in the same color order as I did the other cards. So. Right, so lay that strip on the back. I'm gonna peel this off. And this was literally just scraps that I had. Clearly this one's too big, but we'll go all the way across with that one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna keep layering up this front of the card. All right, so I finished layering up the front of the card with a few strips of paper, some washi tape, and then I'll just go ahead and trim up the side of it here. I went a little heavy on the on the markers and it bled through, so you might want to use a lighter hand if you're using white uh, cardstock. All right, so I've trimmed up the strips along the side. And then what I did is I added some glitter strips that you see here. And the way that I did that, well, first thing you want to do is decide if you're going to, what kind of embellishments. Um, you can, now what I did on this card is I did put down um, the glitter first and then the buttons. And then I realized after I did it that I could have stuck the buttons to the red line tape and then glittered it. So I think I'm going to try that this time and see how that turns out. This, these were stuck to the glitter using some, um, sticky dots. So I use that on the back of these. And for the small buttons, I just cut the dot in half to put on the little, the smaller buttons. I'll say littler. I don't think that's a word. <laughs> All right. So using some red line tape, grab that. Got a bunch of things stuck to it though. Hold on one second. All right. I find that red line tape is pretty easy for putting a glitter strip on just about anything. <laughs> All right, so just grabbed, measured it out. Doesn't have to be, you know, perfect, but I just cut it off about where I, about as long as I think I need it. And then I just layered it in between here. Let's just see if you can see that. So it's just straddling both strips of paper so that there's a glitter strip in the in-betweens. And I'll do that all the way down. All right, so I've layered this up here with some red line tape and I've trimmed off the edges right here. And then what I did is I just covered it in some paper, or paper, covered it in some glitter. So let me get my scrap piece of paper. <laughs> and we'll glitter up a few pieces to show you how that goes. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, <laughs> getting out of step here. On this one here, like I said, I put the sh uh, glittered strips down first and then I stuck the buttons onto the glittered strip. But I'm wondering if that might, you know what, I'm just gonna do it like I did it before. What you could do is you could stick the buttons onto the red line tape. So you could peel this off and go ahead and stick your embellishments on there. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna do like I did on this one and use the little glue dots. I think it'd be easier um, to clean off the excess glitter without all these buttons in the way. And plus I don't want a bunch of glitter, you know, stuck around the edges of the buttons or in the holes. So I think what I'm gonna do is do like I did on this one and just glitter the strips up first or the red line tape and then um, put the buttons down. I think it'll make for a cleaner, cleaner looking card. And then just dump your glitter onto the stripes or the strips of glue to create a stripe. Getting tongue tied with my words all of a sudden. And I just rub it in a little bit and tap off the excess. All right, and let's see, looking at this card, I'm trying to follow the pattern of this card. So I did two stripes, so I went go over three. So this one right here would be the next one in that color. Okay, I'll do the same thing. Dumping out the glitter onto the glue. Yeah, I think it's I think it'll be easier to clean up the excess glitter without the buttons in the way. But you could stick the buttons to the red line tape. But this way I can really clean up the card without the buttons in the way. Okay, so there's that one. There you have that color. And this is a pretty easy way to make a Valentine's card with your kids. You know, maybe they want to take a card to their teacher or something. All right, and then the next color I did was the pale pink. Right. Just this 
from here. Right, and then the one next to it, which is this one right here. I like them both, going to, the stripes going across or long ways. I think they both work. I did not fill up the card. I left it kind of white at the bottom around the edges. Okay. All right, sorry, wipe it on my pant leg. <laughs> That's what pajamas are for, right? I am still in my pajamas. All right, so there's the light pink stripe. And we'll do one more. Go ahead and do the blue one. Dump all this back in the container. I'm shaking my camera Sorry about that. And then the last color I did was just the blue. And I, I put the blue eyes on the stamp on the inside. And that way it kind of breaks up all the different shades of pink. I think the blue is a nice, um, nice accent there. Okay, and I've used this like aqua blue glitter. Kind of dump that on here. I like the blue, the different shades of pink and a little bit of blue. I think it's nice. It's pretty. All right, I'm just going to rub that in like I did the other lines just to make sure it's nice and filled in. You could use a paper towel to wipe off the excess glitter, not necessarily your pant leg. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And this is what you have right here. Now you could just leave it like this if you wanted to, if you didn't want to add any buttons or anything. It's quite a cute card just as is. It's just, it's a simple front and you could just leave it like it is, or maybe put a big heart on the front. However, you'd like to embellish it from these different, you know, various lengths of strips of paper and stuff. But what I did is I went ahead and put some hearts on here. Some of these wooden hearts. And let's see. Not sure where I'm going to put these. Not this one. I guess I'll put it there. I'm kind of situating them to see where I want them before I put, you know, anything down. I think I will put these on the actual glitter strips. So, like that. And then I'm going to use some pink and blue ones. I kind of like to line up the pattern how I want it to look before I stick everything down. See what buttons I want to use, what I have on hand. So I don't have, um, making sure I have, you know, way I want it to look before, you know, I glue it down. And I guess I'll do a little little BB one. I had a big pink one on the other card, but I'm out of the big pink one, so that'll have to do. Well, the big flat pink ones, like this one is, have these big ones, but they're kind of got a ridge to them, and these are the smooth front, so I'm trying to make them all look the same. All right, and then some blue ones. Let's see here. Oh, I'm running low on those two. Okay, let's see. Put one there. One there, and I put three of each, of each one, on here. I guess we'll put one there. Yeah, that looks cute. I'll just do it like that. <clears throat> All right, and now once you get, you know, you're happy with where the hearts are and how it looks. In this case, I just took these little glue dots like you get at Dollar Tree. They're the ones in the blue pack. They have some in a green pack, which are the semi-permanent, and they don't they don't stick very well. These are the permanent ones in the blue package. If you're at Dollar Tree, thing I like about these is they easily cut in half. Um, if you want a smaller dot, and they do not stick to your uh, scissors. I have some really cheapo scissors. Well, not these, but I have some black ones that I like to use, and they don't stick. They're just regular like office supply scissors. 
So if you have basic, um, non, you know, the type of, they make craft scissors are supposed to not stick to glue. But if, if what you have is just regular scissors, these glue dots don't stick. So that's nice. If you're wanting to cut them down to fit something, a smaller embellishment like this little button that is sticking to my fingers. Okay, and then I'll just position that on the card and press it down. And they really do stick. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna finish sticking these buttons on here. And then I'll show you the finished card. All right, so this is the finished cards. And this is how these turned out with the two different directions of the paper and the washi tapes and the buttons and stuff. And again, on the inside, it says, love you a latte, which I think is really cute. And then, of course, my little red and white ones with the happy Valentine's Day with the glittery heart and sequins on the front. So I think both cards are really cute, really simple to make. And I hope you enjoyed today's um, video um, tutorial on showing how I made these cards. Y'all have a great day now. Bye-bye.